I'm John Clevin from Metropolitan Detail in Redmond, Washington. We started in 2006. We had about an 1,800 square foot shop in a city called Linwood, Washington. And we grew from there, went to about a 4,000 square foot shop, and then we finally moved to Bellevue. We had about a 7,000 square foot shop there. And now that we're in Redmond, now we've doubled that size. So this is kind of an interesting area. It's got a lot of, a lot of big businesses. Microsoft was founded in Redmond. Uh, nearby we have Amazon, we have Boeing, so a lot of big corporations around this area. A lot of car people, a lot of great car events, uh, so it kind of fits right in with our business. Behind us there's some pretty incredible cars right now. Um, I mean, you name it, it's got a lot of bucket list cars in here too and a lot of things that are new. A lot that you guys have obviously worked on as well. Uh, can you guys speak of a couple that you know kind of stand out? We do a lot of Porsches, so we've done the Speedsters, GT2 RSs, 3 RSs, that kind of stuff. Awesome. So, in this industry, I mean, you guys are definitely a group that a lot of people look up to, um, including myself. I mean, even when I started thank detailing, you. yeah, and thank you guys. Um, it's always nice to have something that for a goal to look forward to, and the detailing industry was always difficult because it was so vast. On, kind of the setups that people had. You know, it's one thing seeing it online, but when I walked into your facility today, I was like, this is exactly everything you want to see online. It wasn't like it dropped 50 pounds off that somebody edited out, it was perfect. Um, so can you guys speak a little bit of exactly, because you have a pretty cool story, exactly how you got into business together, which started back in third grade, was it? Well, we met in third grade. Okay. So uh, in third grade, we weren't exactly able to push a mower, but probably by about fifth or sixth grade, we were pushing a lawnmower up and down in our neighborhood and cutting people's grass. So, uh, so all the other detailers, you know, that, that look up to you guys, what are maybe a piece of advice or a few pieces of advice that you might be able to provide to them? When it becomes difficult, stick with it. And have a process for everything. Yeah. yeah and, and be in a routine. I have a lot of tasks to do every morning. And these are tasks that I want to complete before my employees walk in the door. So when they walk in the door, I'm ready for them, I'm ready for my customers, and it doesn't look like I'm in a scramble. You know, I'm ready, I'm ready to talk, discuss, look at their car, figure out their needs, and get them going. Some of the best features of your Able is going to be some of the uh, customer service side. Everything from email reminders, text message reminders, follow-up appointment reminders, that's all integrated very easily. Being able to just kind of set that up ahead of time and then personalize it to every customer on the day-to-day. -day. So I think it's a great retention program. It's much easier to market to our clients that we already have than to find new ones. So if we're able to get these people to come back in, that's a win for us. We're really looking forward to growing our business with your Able. The way they've been able to implement features so quickly is really refreshing. Stuff's happening with your Able and it's just making the software better. It's making our customer service experience better. It's making our operations process just more streamlined and just overall it's just really great. So the more features they bring, it allows us to focus on our quality of work, quality of production instead of the day-to-day -day ins and outs of these little details that at this day and age can kind of be a little bit more automated or simplified. 